everybody, I'm Aaron Simmons. This is Philosophy for Where We Find Ourselves, May 25th, 2020. Today is Memorial Day. Perhaps ironically, as we are unable to do most of those activities that would normally occupy our time on Memorial Day and serve to distract us from what the day is really about, in light of this pandemic, we actually have the time and perhaps even the focus to be able to recognize that today is an opportunity to memorialize, to remember, to bring back to consciousness, and then do our best to live forward in light of those sacrifices that others have made for us. I love at the end of the movie Saving Private Ryan, when Tom Hanks's character is passing away and he turns to the young man and says, make your life worth my sacrifice. In other words, it's not enough just to say thank you, set off some fireworks, and have a moment of silence. What is required is that we live forward differently. That we, in fact, actualize what it was that was the hope that motivated their struggle and their sacrifice. It was the hope that freedom be real in the world. It was the hope that joy and love and engagement define our mortal lives. Right now, where we find ourselves is a difficult situation. There is a lot of sacrifice being asked of all of us. And yet we've got to do our best not to give in to the temptation to think that our own egoism or our own conception of liberty relative to our being able to go here or do that or participate in this activity or not have to listen to these guidelines or not wear masks or whatever it might be. May we instead swallow that pride and remember that the freedom for which those brave women and men have fought and given their lives is not, in fact, something that was just meant to provide us the opportunity to ignore concerns for others. But instead, it was a model that invites us to similarly live our lives, recognizing that freedom is grounded in communities of shared concern. It's then that we begin to understand why getting together to eat hot dogs and hamburgers in the backyards and head to the lake and enjoy being outdoor with other people that we love, why all of that matters. It matters because freedom is the condition under which those sorts of activities become possible. We get to do this because others chose not to submit their own ego as the highest ideal, but instead submitted it to a greater cause, that neighbor love that grounded their sacrifice, their commitment, and their example to the rest of us. Freedom is always something we undertake together as a social task. It is not something that separates us. It is something that unites us. It is something that brings us together so that we can encourage each other forward in amazing directions that we could not have imagined previously. Let me encourage you, not just take a minute to remember the sacrifice of others that have made possible your freedoms, but instead to take a life and be transformed by the idea that we live in light of the lives that others have lived. May our lives open up richer and deeper and more compelling opportunities for existence for those who come behind us. In that way, we undertake the legacy. We embrace their sacrifice. We move forward in a mode of gratitude and humility. So to all of you who have served in the armed forces, who have made possible the kinds of enjoyment that we now get to take for granted, thank you. May we not fail you by returning to our own egoism as a confusion for the liberty for which you have fought, you have sacrificed, and you have struggled. To everyone, enjoy the day. I'll see you tomorrow, unless a piano falls on our heads.